Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie and today we are going to be sharing with you guys our love story. This is Daniel. We've actually <laughs> been dating for over five years. We were going to college, like close to my last semesters at that college. And I um, I think that was my last semester. That was my last semester at that college. And I just needed another elective class that was in the sciences. So it could have been geology or anything like that. And I picked biology because I thought it would be kind of cool. And she... I was actually retaking that class because I had dropped it. Just because I wasn't going to pass the first time. So I decided to take it again. How did that? <laughs> Let's just continue and then we'll, we'll tell you what happened. <laughs> so there was three sets of tables on this side and three sets of tables on this side. And so I would have to look that way to see the teacher. And then in order to see you, I would have to turn this way. And then one day, out of nowhere, I noticed you because I turned this way and I saw that you were staring at me. That's what I thought. I'm like, are you staring at me? And I'm like, no, he's just daging me because I was like, let me stare and see if he can like, like, are you going to take away my gaze? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Away from me. And then he wouldn't. So I was just like, oh, then he's daging me. So I was just like, look the other way and just keep writing my notes. And then I remember I did it another time. And then I looked back, and you were still staring. And I remember I was just so bored that I would like daydream. And so I stared off into space in the corner of the classroom. And I think when she picked her head up the second time, because I only saw you pick up your head twice. So okay. if, if you had done it three times, I noticed that this girl looked and looked right at me. And I saw her see me seeing her, because I guess that's what she thought I was initially doing. And then I'm like, crap if i break away my gaze now it's gonna make it look like i was staring at him but i wasn't so i'm like i'll just keep staring at the spot i'm staring at which is like the corner of the classroom and then i'll just wait to see if she looks up again if she looks up and she's gonna see that i'm not looking at her because i'm daydreaming and looking off somewhere else and that's exactly what happened so i was aware that i was looking in her direction well that's when i first noticed you second um lab class we had, the professor decided to have, I guess, a seating chart. And I was just like, I remember sitting with my friends, my two friends, um, in a table, because they were um, circular, and we were just sitting there, and I'm just like, no, I don't want to move to a different seat, like, come on, really? And I was like, remembering to myself, she better not sit me next to him or in that same lap table. Yeah. I was like, that better not happen, or I'm gonna be super pissed. And I remember telling her, like, really? Like, you better not do this to me. Because I have a feeling already that- There might be something there. That we were meant to be. Oh, wow. I'm not trying to be corny, but that's how I felt. Um, the professor ended up like saying my name, and it was in the same spot that you were sitting at. Mm -hmm. So it was already, he was already there with like two other people these the, a brother and sister who are taking the class together. yeah there was only one left like one more spot to sit at that table and she calls me and i'm like i must be dreaming this can't be true there's no way that i'm going to be sitting there and so i go up to the teacher and i'm like where did you say i'm supposed to sit just because i wasn't sure and she tells me right there she told me the number but the sister was already sitting there mm -hmm. and I don't want to be oh, like... Oh, that's right. Supposedly she was supposed to sit right next to me. But I ended up sitting right across because I don't want to be that person that's like, oh yeah, you're my seat. You right. Know? Like, you know. I don't introduce myself to everyone because I, I want a good relationship to start off the bat because we're going to be sitting with each other for the rest of the semester. And so I, I got to know the brother and sister duo. And she finally takes her sweet time to come over and sit down with the rest of us. And she says her name and... Your name is <laughs> very unique. It is, it really is. Uh, a lot of people can't pronounce it if they read it like, a, oh, why do you say this name? Yeah. And she told me her name, or she told you told us your name, because you yeah. introduced yourself to us. I was like, my name is Blank, but people call me Ellie. Right, and I remember that I did not understand what she said. So I just, she was... You've always been like a quiet talker, so I yeah. might have had something to do with it. I wasn't really loud. And so I said, oh, I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? And I got an inch closer to the table. And then she said... <laughs> I think I said, said something like, I already said my name. 
I'm not gonna say it again. There you go. Something yeah. like that. At first, the brother and the sister door looked at me and they were like, oh. And I remember thinking like, why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my and then, like, god! I can't really let, I can like I, I could let this go and just be like, oh, I'm sorry, and step back and sit down, and whatever. But I remember that I was like, no, I have to hold my ground here. I, I, I saw a comeback of some kind. Yeah, and I was just like, I remember feeling so surprised that he actually she felt said ambushed. something back. I was like, what? <laughs> Honestly, was like I think I was 19, and I had like gotten out of a relationship months ago i remember that like i want to do me be by myself i'm not trying to look into a relationship right now i'm trying to like find myself discover who i am and i was like there's no need to have a boyfriend right now i was kind of just going through the motions i i didn't really have a plan actually to meet like so you were just like whatever happens happens yeah didn't i meet you by the escalators one day I think so. I remember, so the bro, you know the two people that sat with us on the table, the brother and the sister, the brother needed the, like some... The, I think it was a workbook? It's we, like a We needed a it for a lab, book. yeah. And neither of us had paid for it. By this time I already had dropped out of the class because I knew I was going to fail. So I was like, no, let me not waste my time in, here. Yeah, we needed the lab section mm -hmm. and he had your number or he had your Facebook. I didn't know, I didn't know her, um, I think it was my number because it was easy to text. Yeah, I didn't have her number or anything like that. I had no way to communicate with her. And I remember I had asked him like, like, hey, let me, uh, do, you, do you remember that girl that sat at our table? Let me get, do you have like her contact info? Let me get it. I found her on Facebook first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we made by the escalators to pick up the lab book from her. She was still going to school there with us. Yeah, different class. Yeah, and so we talked for like two minutes. And I was like, I don't know how to say bye. Awkward. So you know what? Yeah, you and him were just sitting there like, well, he, I think he gave you, like he went over there to give Yeah, he gave space. me the space. And I was just like, I this is for... awkward. You know what? Let me just give him a handshake. It's like, <laughs> so I gave him my hand and we were just there. Yeah, just... I opened up and I'm like, oh. I felt so awkward, and I was so embarrassed. Like I remember we were constantly going out like every single day, and we would meet up, I believe at State and Lake. And I remember this one day in particular, we ended up going to Millennium Park, because we usually went on walks and stuff. We're struggling like to Millennium Park, where the like playground for the kids are, just because I've never been there, and, and I don't know, I just wanted to go see. And I remember there was like, I think the ships, right? Was it like you could turn the wheel and stuff like that? Yeah. And it had rained or it was starting to rain. Yes. It was starting to like drizzle, right? It's been drizzling yeah. throughout. The floor was already wet. So yeah. I like decided to go up this little small hill to like, I guess go on top of like get on the boat stuff. And I somehow just fell in front of you. I knew like the second I like, my foot left off the ground. If I don't like embrace this fall <laughs> gracefully, then I'm it's gonna be horrible. So I just remember I let myself go. <laughs> she, <laughs> like, oh, she fell down and she just looked down at the floor, like, I was like, dang. So I just walked over by her and I looked down <laughs> and she's still just, but the way he helped me up. <laughs> That was really <laughs> awkward, yeah. yeah. So I picked her up by her like, like by my <laughs> armpit. <laughs> and just in one like I just poop. Yep, and I was just like, right that was out. the most awkward pickup ever. That but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> we had agreed that we were gonna go see a movie. We we're gonna meet in downtown. We were going to meet at the theater. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's yeah. one thing we'd agreed on. We ended up watching Big Hero 6. Oh, right. <laughs> it was, it's a good movie. That experience was really like, funny. And then after that, we didn't want the night to end. So we ended up deciding to go get dinner. And we decided originally we were going to go to... Chili's. Chili's. But I think the line was pretty long. It was coming outside. Yes. Yeah, so I had actually never been downtown to have food at a restaurant before yeah. because... I've always, in my experience, just from having lunch down there, there's always an enormous line. Mm -hmm. And it was late at night on a Saturday night. 
Because we used so. to do our dates on Saturdays. I remember. And then I didn't want to wait for a long period of time. It was kind of cold. And I was kind yeah. of, we were, I was, I was, like, I was hungry. You, you yeah. were hungry. So the next closest thing that was right there. That the had Chili's, no line. Was Subway. Yeah. We actually kissed. On our first on date. Our first date. Yeah. After you dropped me off at home at the front. It was six months into our relationship and, and it was getting pretty serious because both of us, I mean, I really liked her. She really liked me. Yeah. And I was, I think our relationship has been filled with a lot of respect. Honestly, I just other. didn't want to get hurt if this ended bad. Yeah, because so we like, could tell it wasn't going to end anytime soon. If I put it now and it ended now, I'm not going to get hurt. That was my mentality. I confuse her being stuck up uh, with her confidence because you do have confidence when i first met you you were like the class clown i feel like i can't take him serious he thinks everything's a joke i don't think he's even that smart because he goes around trying to get the answers so that's how i what i oh wait you're talking you're yeah you oh but, okay but <laughs> Like when you need to take stuff seriously, you will. Oh. And then him going around and asking for notes, not being smart. Um, that one, I feel like we were all just trying to pass that class. Yeah. So we were all trying to like help each other out. So, so wait for the record. Am like I know. smart? I think you are. Okay. Yeah. More than five years into this relationship, um, we're parents now. Yeah. So I did that thing correctly. <laughs> And we actually have a 10 month old baby. Yeah. We just recently turned 10 months. So that's pretty exciting. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Right Make sure now. to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I ask you guys for questions there and keep you updated whether I be posting on the days that I usually post or if it changes. If you guys wanted to be participating on, I guess, my YouTube channel and just comment down below. Hey, please comment. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.